Hi everyone, it's uh, JB. Just thought I'd uh, give you an update. It's been a while, so I thought I'd come up with all the stuff we got going on. Obviously, yesterday again we had another heroic downpour for July. So it's another 50 mil in the space of a couple of hours. So, so far for July, on three separate rain showers, we've had 114 mil, which is amazing. Um, obviously, we're working on clearing up as much as we can because we had a lot of damage in that storm so our bunkers face has been washed down we're uh, using the opportunity for edging all the bunkers so three of the boys four of the boys actually are out there um, edging the bunkers making them look nice and neat as the sand dries out next couple of days we'll get the faces shoveled back up um, get them back in play obviously it's not ideal we don't normally have these kind of problems but is what it is in July unfortunately We've, with the bonus benefits of lots of water so we're really green lovely lush grass um, comes the added disadvantage that it keeps coming down in torrential amounts so we work with it we work through it and we make plans to make sure that we're better off in the future um, on that front all the new bunkers we've been working on all look fantastic all in play all great so we keep uh, changing the old bunkers into new bunkers we've got uh, funding for another four so 10 green side 11 green side 9 green side 12 green side are all getting done in the next phase which will be done in the next couple of months yeah so positive there we've uh, just bought a trencher part of our winter drainage plan which we'll probably push forward a little bit um, so that turns up tomorrow it's a nice trencher attached to the back of a tractor um, so we'll be able to trench pipe in across all the areas we want to put drainage on there's like five three two fourteen now um and bits like that so again really massive part of the arsenal which is going to make a massive difference uh, to go with that we've also bought fairway spiker that turns up thursday um again massive piece of kit that's really going to make a big difference to playability of the fairway all through the winters help us through the summers as well so I say that turns up on Thursday. Probably doing a little, little picture or video of all them things when they come in. We've got bought uh, another tractor too, so compact tractors added to their fleet, which again just enables us with the winter drainage. We can, you know, uh, just get a lot more clear, a lot more done when we're out there getting it done. So it just helps us massively with trailer work and stuff like that, um, which is massive positives. Great investment. Uh, really looking forward to the future on those ones. So like I say, everything is in our hands, in our control, which is all we ever wanted. Um, yeah, what else is going on? So obviously with the fairways uh, in this time of year, usually around these kind of times of year, we're putting out lots of water across the fairways, uh, tees approaching greens, but obviously at the moment, no real need for that. Uh, the downside of that is obviously the irrigation lake has a tendency to pop its banks when we don't use it for a long period of time because it's been fed by a spring next to it. Um, to sort this out we've basically put a hose pipe in on six you'll see it as you go across the road um, hose pipes in on six just basically running water into the ditch that in turn lowers the lake which stops the flooding on the path uh, simple fix just takes a little bit of time um, obviously we've got planning permission in for a lake four times the size of the one we've currently got so as soon as that goes through work will start on that and we'll be again that problem won't be a problem anymore that lake will take a heck of a lot of water and we look forward to, again, that being part and parcel of our daily routine through the summer of having enough water to put out everything. Um, yeah, which is great. Um, yeah, surfaces wise, really pleased with them. Um, greens are running fantastically. Uh, approaches is looking stunning. Like I say, fairways are looking beautiful from time of year. Lots of grass, lots of all the new seed we're putting and popping beautifully, looking great. Uh, we'll continue that as we get to September, more seed going in. Um, the, uh, the tees are coming through nicely, a uh, lot more sea going on that. When the big new fairway spike we've got turns up, we're going to be putting that across the tees with massive tines and it's get lots of holes in them, lots of sand in them. Again, really help with extra grass and lots of seed in them too, just to really help get more grasses in them. Going into the winter, again, so they've got a lot of, lot of play and they're small tees, so they need to be able to take the wear and this is all helping towards that goal. Um, obviously the main elephant in the room at the moment is 13 and 14 where it floods when it rains. Uh, we've got CCTV guy coming out today 
to shove a CCTV camera down the overflow on the lake, see what's going on further down the line. Um, so if we need to, we can pinpoint exactly where we need to dig to fix that problem. Again, we can fix it in-house. We just need to know exactly where to dig first. Um, it's a pipe runs all the way across 13th fairway, 14th fairway. I don't really want to dig up the whole area for the sake of finding one small joint that could be the problem. So CCTV is coming in, get that problem sorted. Um, the water isn't just from our golf course. Uh, we're fed by a stream, runs up from 10, runs all the way up to Paradise Wildlife Park. Uh, probably beyond to be honest, I've only tracked it that far so far, but um, all the water that comes off that area, so when we have 50 mil here, it will hold area, have 50 mil, potentially more further up. Um, that all comes in through 10, through the lake, round the back of the driving range, through 18, uh, through 17, and out that 400 mil pipe in the lake. So, like I say, if we find out there's nothing wrong with the pipe and it's just a sheer volume of water, I have contingency plans to make sure that that will be a thing of the past. Um, going forward, we can raise the bank down on the swamp area on 14 to stop it flooding across the fairway each time. Um, yeah, we got we got plans that we can sort that out. But like I say, first things first, we get the CCTV and get that done. And we can then actually have cohesive argument as to what's going on. Uh, yeah, beyond that, obviously, like I say, bunkers been tough on them because all the rain and the heat uh, it seems to be the perfect conditions to grow grass in these bunkers, so the boys are up against it, raking them as often as they can, um, with all the other work we've got to do, and weeding them as they go. Uh, obviously they're all out of the day more banded, edging and weeding them um, to try and keep them top of them. So yeah, they're not perfect at the moment, but we will get them there. Uh, like I say, the new ones are beautiful. Um, so by the time we get the whole course done, and there's those are the bunkers we've got, really never going to be an issue again is it it's uh like i say just building towards that a lot of work going to, going to go into that a lot of money um but be fantastic results in the end i look forward to seeing them so uh yeah but like i say um all the restrictions are off now so you can take the flags out bunk rakes are back in the bunkers please use them um not for me um doesn't affect my day but for you guys, if you're playing, you can't pick and place in the bunker anymore. If you land in somebody's footprint, you're not going to be happy about it. Um, so, yeah, rake it for the next bunk, next golfer. I'm sure for every bunker you rake and for every pitch mark you repair, the golf gods issue you another birdie, which I think is just beautiful. So, yeah, please take care of yourselves. Uh, look after each other. And, yeah, any questions, obviously, uh, either ask the committee or Blythe or email the club. I'll answer any questions you email me. Not a problem. Uh, yeah. Okay, see you soon. Take care.